All right, so I got this Harbor Freight mini tire changer here, and um, I thought I'd show you guys what modifications I did to it in order to make it stable and a little easier to, to work with. So, as you may be aware, this uh, tire changer comes with this red base, and then uh, this top piece is what you're using to change tires, but I wanted to show you what I did here to make it a little bit more stable. So this is the part here that you put together to change your tires. If you haven't seen how that works, there's lots of videos already uploaded that show that. Um, but I ended up taking this thing and uh, this top red part from my thumb up is what it normally came with. And um, I ended up taking some, I believe it's two inch stock, square stock that uh, I had over in my scrap bin and um, ended up welding a couple ears to the base of it. Um, I threw a couple bolts through that and then I have the Harbor Freight manual tire changer. You can see my two helpers here in the shop. I've got the Harbor Freight manual tire changer that I uh, mounted to the floor um, in the corner of my shop here uh, where it's over by my scrap and by my wood pile and um, gives me enough room to get around it um, but I still have uh, you know it's not in the way of the rest of the shop. You can see I've got the rest of the shop over here so this is all, all over in the corner. Um, it's also by the uh, Mouse Patrol headquarters. Looks like the Mouse Patrol is currently on hiatus but uh, anyway so I ended up drilling two holes that correspond with those bolts in this bottom plate and then I can take that and it slips onto this either direction and I have those centered so that no matter when you know no matter which way you put it on whether you go this way or whether it's spun 180 degrees either way it goes on there and then those bolts stick down below I've got a couple of uh, fender washers and wing nuts that I then, you know, put underneath and tighten them down. And uh, even without those, it's really, really solid. But then your tire changer can slip right into that, you can hook it up with all the parts, do what you need to do, and you have a really, really stable base uh, that can be used for smaller tires. And then when you're all done with it, this all comes off. And then I've got a shelf right up here that uh, I end up storing everything on. It all goes up there on top of that shelf. And uh, everything gets stored over there. So Harbor Freight Tire Changer, uh, I use it quite a bit. I've got some other modifications that I've done that a lot of you guys have seen. Some of the same, you know, I don't come up with anything new. Um, myself, I just kind of steal ideas from other people and build upon them. Um, but that has worked out really, really pretty well for me. And uh, I thought somebody out there might appreciate it. A um, couple more things. I've got a couple other videos that I want to upload that shows a little bit more about this. But uh, I've just got a 220 uh, 180C power MIG, which I do my welding with, which works out really great and then um, I've also got the Bauer um, saw there that uh, I have set up and again I've seen all these ideas other places um, but I basically have a bracket that is on a hinge and that bracket flips up and this uh, slips down in place I put a zip tie on the trigger and then that goes down to a switch. So I can turn that on and off. Um, but that's my bench that I do my welding on. And uh, yeah, so worked out pretty well. And um, appreciate you watching. Stopping in at the Jeep Cave. And uh, hope to see you again. Thanks.